let us study determinant of a matrix of order determinant of matrix of order 1 let a be the matrix of order 1 then the determinant of a is defined as follows determinant of a matrix of order 2 let a be the matrix of order 2 then the determinant of a is defined as follows let us have an example let a is equal to 2 4 minus 1 2 be the matrix of order 2 then the determinant of a is defined as follows and the value of determinant a equals 2 into 2 minus 4 into minus 1 which equals 8 Let us study determinant of a matrix of order. Determinant of matrix of order 1. Let A be the matrix of order 1. Then the determinant of A is defined as follows. Concept Determinant of a matrix of order 3 can be determined by expressing it in terms of second order determinants. This is known as expansion of determinant along a row or a column. There are six ways of expanding a determinant of order 3 corresponding to each of the three rows and three columns, giving the same value as shown side. Let A be a square matrix. Then the determinant of square matrix A can be represented as follows. Expansion along first row R1. Determinant A can be expanded in three steps. The expansion of determinant A is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 A11 into A12, A23, A32, A33 plus minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into a12 into a11 a23 a13 a33 plus minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 into a13 into a11 a12 a13 and a32 where the powers of minus 1 are the sum of the subscripts of a which is the pre multiplier of the determinant of order 2. After the expansion, we get A11 into A12, A33 minus A32, A23 minus A12 into A11, A33 minus A13, A23 plus A13 into A11, A32 minus A13, A12. Let us know more about step 1. We multiply first element A11 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 111 minus 1 sum of suffixes in A11 and with the second order determinant 
obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and first column C1 of determinant A as A11 lies in R1 and C1. Let us know more about step 1. We multiply first element A11 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 111 minus 1 sum of suffixes in A11 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and first column C1 of determinant A as A11 lies in R1 and C1. Let us know more about step 2. We multiply second element A12 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 where minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 is minus 1 to the power sum of suffixes in A12 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and second column C2 of determinant A as A12 lies in R1 and C2. Let us know more about step 3. We multiply third element A13 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 where 1 plus 3 is the sum of suffixes in A13 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and third column C3 of determinant A as A13 lies in R1 and C3. Let us know more about step 4. Now the expansion of determinant of A that is determinant A written as sum of all three terms obtained in step 1, 2 and 3 above is given by expansion along second row R2. This can also be done as we expanded the determinant along first row R1. Let us know more about step 1. We multiply first element A11 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 111 minus 1 sum of suffixes in A11 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and first column C1 of determinant A 
let us know more about step 2 we multiply second element a12 of r1 by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 where minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 is minus 1 to the power sum of suffixes in a12 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row r1 and second column c2 of determinant a as a12 lies in r1 and c2. Let us know more about step 3. We multiply third element a13 of r1 by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 where 1 plus 3 is the sum of suffixes in a13 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row r1 and third column c3 of determinant a as a13 lies in r1 and c3. Let us know more about step 4. Now the expansion of determinant of a that is determinant a written as sum of all three terms obtained in step 1, 2 and 3 above is given by expansion along first column C1. This can be expanded similarly. Let us know more about step 1. We multiply first element A11 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 111 minus 1 sum of suffixes in A11 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and first column C1 of determinant A as A11 lies in R1 and C1. Let us know more about step 2. We multiply second element a12 of r1 by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 where minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 is minus 1 to the power sum of suffixes in a12 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row R1 and second column C2 of determinant A as A12 lies in R1 and C2. Let us know more about step 3. We multiply third element A13 of R1 by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 where 1 plus 3 is the sum of suffixes in a13 and with the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row r1 and third column c3 of determinant a as a13 lies in r1 and c3.
let us know more about step 4 now the expansion of determinant of a that is determinant a written as sum of all three terms obtained in step 1 2 and 3 above is given by Let us have some remarks. For easier calculation, we shall expand the determinant along that row or column which contains maximum number of zeros. While expanding, instead of multiplying by minus 1 to the power i plus j, we can multiply plus 1 or minus 1 according as i plus j is even or odd. Let a and B be two matrices, then verify A is equal to 2B and determinant of A equals 2 to the power 2 into determinant of matrix B. A is equal to 2B can be represented in the matrix form as also the determinant of A equals minus 8 and determinant of B equals minus 2. Therefore, determinant of A equals 2 to the power 2 into determinant no of more. matrix B. In general, if a matrix A is multiplied by K, the value of its determinant gets multiplied by K to the power N where N is the order of matrix A.